Okay, so as you will see, this is not really a round table because there's only two of us, and we, and we thought we would spare you the agony of another panel session. I think we all had a lot of discussion already, and I assume we've all been you know, exhausted in terms of the ideas we can put on the table. So I just want to thank everybody for having come. I think it was a very interesting set of discussions. Um, I, the thing I took away from, from this meeting is that there's quite a bit to be done in terms of the advocacy, in terms of communications, but also technically in terms of thinking about how we actually should think about pursuing the trade agenda. I think there were some very pragmatic and good suggestions made, which for the researchers in the room I think is food for thought in terms of how we actually think about the design of trade agreements and also for modeling of, of non-tariff measures and making the distinction between non-tariff barriers and non-tariff measures and regulation um, and so forth. So I think, I feel we chose the right topic, thanks largely to Joe and the Pronto Project, but uh, I think what also struck me is that even though we tried to anchor this on the Pronto Project, there's a lot of other research going on that really focuses on these types of issues. So I think that was one of the nice things about the conference in terms of bringing together the academic community with, with a lot of the practitioners. As I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned this uh, in front of a microphone, but the, the original idea was actually to have more policy makers here in the room. And as often happens, you choose a date, you lock in a date, you lock in the rooms, and as you might imagine, once you've locked in these rooms, it's very difficult to change the dates. Pretty much everybody at EUI is reasonably seriously irritated with me for having locked up all these rooms for, for a day and a half. So we were stuck with the date, but we hadn't realized there was a general assembly going on, and we hadn't realized that the trade ministers would choose these particular dates to wander off to Bratislava and start thinking about what are the implications of Brexit and what should we be doing. So the good, the good side of that, of course, is that they're talking, so at least they are focusing on these types of issues. And I think that's, uh, you know, the glass half full, the glass half empty feeling I had from listening to a lot of the, um, a lot of the presentations. So uh, I guess we've reached the stage of, of thanking people, and I would like to very much thank the EUI team who was working on this, and I've no idea how many of them are in the room. One of them here is taking pictures. <laughs> So Mia, who is sitting there in the back, I'm sure all of you know. So it clearly went above and beyond in taking care of all of you. I know there were a few hiccups in terms of quality of some of the hotel accommodation, but that's the luck of the draw. We are in a tourist town, and we only have so much market power <laughs> that we can bring to bear. There's also Matthias, who did a lot of work in terms of putting the program together and working with you. Elena here in the front, who is going to make many of you famous, whether you want to or not, <laughs> right? And uh, Matthew, who is standing there with the camera and has been taking pictures. Again, you can't become famous if you don't have good pictures, so hopefully that will all happen. Uh, at the end, I was asked to remind you all that once Joe starts, stops talking, which is anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes from now, the buses are waiting, there will be a bus or buses uh, waiting outside at the front again to take you to your hotels for those of you who want to go to hotels as opposed to walking back to town, which is actually doable and it will be a very nice walk, um, especially after a long day like this. So, Joe. Um, I want to thank the WTI team as well. Um, so Margaret, Christine, Morvin, Monique, uh, Rebecca, all of you. And did I? Yeah. <laughs> also for yeah, yeah. Also for the T-shirts, if you got one of the, the WTF T-shirts, or else ask them. Um, and also thanks to the EUI and the staff and the. Uh, well, Bernard and the, the place overall. This has been great. Good job with the weather. And um, we should also thank the sponsors, probably. So. Oh <laughs> yes, thank you. See, I knew I was forgetting something, and that's why Richard is sitting there glaring away at me. <laughs> so, yes, we were uh, we fortunate enough to get funding from sponsors for this conference. So, 
the dinner you had last night was in part because we actually had the money to pay for it. Um, so I would like to thank, uh, so we had four sponsors. We had the Vargas Foundation. It's, I think Vera is no longer here, right? So the Vargas Foundation from Brazil. Uh, we had the International Growth Center, Richard Newfarmer sitting here who, who mobilized some resources for us. And then we had the Inter-American Development Bank who also sponsored the conference and the Bertelsmann Foundation. Uh, unfortunately, nobody from the Inter-American Development Bank had come here because the person who was supposed to speak, and I would like to thank some of the people who actually stepped in at the last minute to, uh, to be on, on panel sessions, he couldn't come because of a medical problem in the family. So thank you again for the sponsors, and for those of you who are still here, I hope you were incentivized enough to sponsor next year's meeting, which will be in Bern, and I'm sure you will be hearing from the Bern team in terms of you know, making that actually happen. So, and again, and I would also like to thank you know, everybody at WTI for working on us, with us on this particular conference. Just to share one anecdote, at the beginning we were kind of worried about how this would go because we asked, you know, how was, how do you actually, how did you do this last year and what was the process? And they sent us a spreadsheet which was this wide and about from the ceiling down to the, down, down to the floor in terms of all the steps that had to be taken and had to be done. So obviously <laughs> WTI is super organized, but we did it a bit the Italian way, <laughs> I think. <laughs> And that's what I told everybody here. I said, don't worry too much, that's the Swiss. The Swiss are a bit really obsessive about dotting I's and crossing T's. I'm sure we can do this. Don't worry, don't worry. They were getting nightmares after they saw that spreadsheet. So anyway, thanks again, and uh, look forward to seeing you all next year. Get out of here, go. <laughs>